Tepesu invested $10,150 in a savings account that paid 3.9% interest compounded annually. We want to write the exponential function A of t that represents Tepesu's investment where A of t is the accrued value over savings and t is the time of the investment in years. So the general compound interest formula is given here below where P is the principal or starting amount, R is the annual interest rate expressed as a decimal, N is the number of compounds per year, and T is time in years. But in this case, because the interest is compounded annually, N equals one, and therefore A of T simplifies to this formula here, again for interest, compounded annually. To determine A of T, we need to find P, the quantity one plus R, and T. Well, P is the starting investment, which is $10,150. R is the annual interest rate expressed as a decimal. Well, R is given as 3.9%, which as a decimal would be 0 0.039. And therefore, the quantity one plus R equals one plus 0 0.039, or 1.039. This is all we need to write our formula for A of T. A of T equals P, which is 10,150, times the base, which is the quantity one plus R, which is 1.039 raised to the power of T. The next question asks us to determine how much money Tabasu will have after 16 years, and we're asked to round to two decimal places. Well, the account value after 16 years will be the function value A of 16, which equals 10,150 times 1.039 raised to the 16th power. So let's go to the calculator. There's several ways to evaluate this. From the home screen, we could just type in 10,150 times 1.039, close parenthesis, raised to the power of 16, and press enter. To the nearest cent, the value after 16 years would be $18,720.39. But because we're going to be solving this third part graphically, let's also enter our function A of t into y1. To do this, we'll press y equals, clear out any old functions by pressing clear, and now we'll type in A of t, but we'll have to use x instead of t. So 10,150 times 1.039, close parenthesis, raised to the power of x. And now that we have our function in y1, we could have also determined this function value using the notation y1 of 16. Let's also show that. So we'll go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit. And now if we press vars, right arrow for y vars, enter, enter, this brings up y1 on the home screen. Then in parentheses, if we enter 16 and then enter, we get the same function value. Again, $18,720.39. And now for the last question, we're asked to determine how long it takes for Tabasu's investment to double. And again, we're asked to round to two decimal places. And we're going to be solving this graphically, not using logs. So in general, to find the doubling time of an exponential function, where a is the initial value, we want to set the function value to 2a. Notice in our case, the initial investment was 10,150. So to set up the equation to find the doubling time, we would have a of t equals two times 10,150 equals 10,150 times 1.039 raised to the power of t. Well, two times 10,150 would be 20,300 equals 10,150 raised to the power of 1.039 raised to the power of t. We're gonna go ahead and leave it in this form and solve this equation graphically. Remember, we already have a of t and y1, so if this is y1, if we graph the left side as y2, We can solve this equation graphically by determining where y1 and y2 intersect each other. Let's go ahead and do that. So back to the calculator. We'll press y equals, 
Again, A of T is in Y1, so we'll press enter. And then in Y2, we'll enter 20,300, which is the amount needed to double the initial investment. And now before we press graph though, we do have to set up the window. And notice because we're looking for a function value of 20,300, we'll have to have a Y maximum that's more than 20,300. And notice after 16 years, the account balance was $18,720.39, and therefore the horizontal axis, or X maximum, will have to be more than 16. So let's press window. Let's change the horizontal axis to go from, let's say, negative five to 25 by ones, that's fine. And let's set the Y minimum to, let's say, negative 4,000, enter and the Y maximum to, let's say, 25,000. Now we could change the Y scale, but that's optional. Let's go ahead and press graph. So here's the exponential function. And here's our constant function, A of T equals 20,300. We want to find this point of intersection, the X coordinate, which is really the T coordinate, will tell us how long it takes for the investment to double. So we'll press second trace for the calculation menu. We want option five, so we'll press five, and then we can just press enter three times. Enter, enter, enter. The coordinates of the point of intersection show below. Notice how the x coordinate is really t, the y coordinate is really a of t. So it takes approximately 18.12 years for the investment to double. I hope you found this helpful.